crazy mouse. It was driving me insane. So what was happening, I would boot my PC, the, I'd turn the, the K3NG rotator controller system on, it's got a GPS connected. I'm taking that GPS data back out via the USB port into the PC and every second, the bloody mouse on the PC would be jumping all over the place, just being totally erratic. It was driving me insane. It's really quick and easy to fix. Stick around because I'm going to show you how. That's coming up. All right, on the bench, I've got a K3NG rotator controller board. This is one of my own. This is the universal variant. Actually, you can buy these by going to my website, vk4ghz.com. Now, one of the features I specifically wanted to design in into this board was the ability to plug in a GPS. And just sitting up the top there, I've got, with inside, I've got one of these U-Blox um, Neo 6M uh, GPS modules. You can get them off eBay. They're not that expensive. They are super sensitive, like it just works inside uh, with the patch antenna, no problem. Uh, this is a single story dwelling, normal uh, brick veneer place, concrete tile roof, and it works really well inside. This board has an FTDI uh, USB to serial adapter. It's a 230XS chip right there. So what this does, this allows me to take the, the GPS signal, feed that to the Teensy for timekeeping, and also, it, uh, it, it, it spits out that uh, GPS information on this serial port here, which I can connect to the PC. So you can also run a time syncing program on your PC as well. So, you know, you, you kill two birds with one stone. One GPS can time sync the, the microcontroller if you're running your K3NG, which is important for tracking. And you can also time sync your, CP, uh, your, your PC. So if you're running digital modes or whatever, or you want an accurate time on your PC, this is a really good way of doing it. Now one thing I noticed is when I boot the PC, turn the, uh, the, the controller system on, the PC would start behaving really strangely and this was totally random. And it, it was the same effect as if you were right clicking on your mouse all over the place at, at random, uh, random XY coordinates. You could be uh, dragging it to create a, a, a box, left clicking, right clicking, all over the place, totally random. Now, not only that, it doesn't always happen every time you boot the PC. Totally random. I don't know why. This was driving me insane. I happened to Google it, found an answer very easily, and it's called Crazy Mouse. Now, with thanks to the folks at clevel.com, we can see how to fix Crazy Mouse Syndrome with USB serial adapters. This condition is potentially encountered in Microsoft Windows when connecting a serial GPS device to a serial port. It is caused when the NEMA GPS serial data is misinterpreted as mouse data by the serial port enumerator, uh, resulting in erratic mouse cursor activity. That's exactly what I've been seeing. The following steps will cure the crazy mouse syndrome uh, with, um, and this, this is with their own products, with C-level USB to serial adapters, but it's relevant to the, uh, the U-Blocks Neo 6M uh, serial device I'm using here. Uh, these instructions were tested in Windows 10 and can be adapted for Windows 8, 7 or XP operating systems. So the first thing you want to do is identify the COM port that's feeding the GPS data back to your PC. So you, using the Windows Device Manager, we'll have a look at our COM ports. And if we, um, the, the system's up and running now, so if I just temporarily pull out this uh, COM port lead, we'll see which one disappears. And we can see that COM7 just disappeared. So COM7 is, is that uh, COM port that's taking our GPS data back to the PC. So what we're going to do, we're going to plug that back in. So the COM port appears in the device manager. We will, however, disconnect the GPS. So we're not getting those one second updates coming in. Right click on the COM port. In my case, it's COM port 7. So I'm going to do a right click. We'll click on left click properties. Go to Port Settings, uh, click on Advanced. Now over here we've got an option called, uh, under the miscellaneous options, we want to deselect Serial Enumerator. Deselect that, press OK, OK. And your problem should go away. 
Okay, we can now plug the GPS back in to our controller board. It didn't happen all the time. It was totally intermittent as to when that behavior occurred, but boy, when, when, it, when it happened, it was so damn annoying, like really frustrating. But as you can see, it's pretty uh, quick and easy to fix. All right, I hope that uh, helped you if you're having that problem. If, uh, if it does, please give me a, uh, a thumbs up and like and subscribe and all, all that sort of stuff, because uh, I'd really appreciate that. Until next time, take care, see you then.